I'm John Adams, Technical Director from Spectrum. In these next few videos, we're going to give you instructions on binding ABC receivers, specifically the DX3, the DX2E, and also the, our new 6100 series receivers. Now these are very similar to the previous generation radios and receivers that we've had, with just a few minor exceptions. Recently, we've had some customer reports where they're having some struggles or difficulties in understanding the procedure, so that's why we're doing this video for you. In the first part of the video, we're going to talk about the differences between binding, connecting, and calibrating. So let's get started. So one of the most important things to understand is we have several ready-to-run vehicles here. We've got a Creighton 8S, we've got an Outcast 8S, we've got a Losi um, Tenacity DB Pro. Um, so these vehicles, by the way, are incredible. You know, it's so much fun to run them. And I know when you buy them, you want you, know, you just can't wait to get out and run them, take them out of the box and go bash, and it is an absolute blast. The neat thing is, and a very important thing you need to understand, is these cars come with radios that are already bound, calibrated, and set up for that vehicle. So the reality is when you take the car and the radio out of the box, you're simply gonna insert AA batteries in the transmitter. You're gonna put charge batteries in the vehicle. You're gonna turn the transmitter on, turn the receiver on. You're gonna allow the system to connect and go have fun. You don't bind, no need to bind, it's already bound. You don't calibrate anything, including the ESC or the ABC receiver, it's already done for you. So, you know, we would highly recommend that you, you know, that's, you basically you start there. And the only reason that you would ever need to rebind a transmitter is if you're gonna change to a different transmitter or if for some reason you're gonna make some drastic changes to the settings, like travel adjust for steering and so on, which these are already set up out of the box um, for the correct amount of steering. So the reality is there's no reason for you to ever, if you're gonna to continue to run these, to ever rebind, um, to ever uh, calibrate and so on. Take them out of the box, have a great time, you're ready to go. Now, let's talk about the differences between connection bind and calibration. So connection is what we're gonna do when we take it out of the box. You're gonna turn the transmitter on by pressing the button. The green light's gonna come on on the, on the DX3. If you have a DX2E or whatever transmitter you have, it'll indicate that it comes on. Now the receiver, there's a push button you're gonna push and you're gonna press it and now this is extremely important and we've had quite a few customer calls on this, especially recently. I'm, I have this in my hand and I'm moving it. This receiver will never connect as long as it's moving. So when I say connect, in other words, nothing's happening. Customers frequently think that, hey, the system's not bound because it's not connecting. And that's absolutely not the case. If I set this down and let it sit for three to five seconds, the light will come on just like it did now and now I have control. The reason that that occurs is there's a very sophisticated gyro and accelerometer system in the receiver that allows ABC to work. So the um, that particular system needs to see zero motion and it also needs to see relatively level for approximately three to four seconds before it can initialize and turn on. So again, here's the key. We've had customers most recently call and they say, you know, hey, I turned my transmitter on, I turned my receiver on, and my goodness, I'm looking and waiting and waiting. Nothing's happening. Nothing ever will happen because you're moving it around until you stop motion of the receiver, let it sit relatively motionless. See, now the light comes on and you're connected. So. By the way, once you're bound, there's no reason to rebind. The receiver doesn't lose the bind. The bind is the code which is stored in the receiver that's learned from the transmitter. And the only way to eliminate that is to override it when you bind another transmitter. So clearly that's what connection is. And those are some of the pitfalls that some of our customers are finding that they're having troubles during connection.